Episode 146, Horror Movie Dates. They did not speak. They felt no need to, and each enjoyed the rare peace and companionship. This tacit understanding only ended when they reached the front of the movie theater, halfway down East Street. It was the most luxurious in Bayside. Aiden did not go to many movies. To be exact, this was his first time visiting a movie theater. He was more used to watching pirated movies on his computer. He thought Olivia would have far more experience than him, so was surprised to see her confusion as they went inside. He could not help laughing when he saw her clumsiness at the ticket machine. What are you laughing at? Olivia pouted and glared at Aiden. She had been so focused on her studies at university that she had no time to think about romance, let alone watch movies. She was struggling with the ticket machine. Her face was bewildered as she asked, What movie shall we watch? Aiden suddenly remembered Jacob Clements' advice. If you're going to a movie with a girl, it's best to choose a horror movie. Of the three of them, Jacob had got along best with girls. He had had several girlfriends back then. Although Aiden did not really understand why, he decided to trust Jacob this once. He stretched out his hand and pointed to a horror movie that had just been released today. Soon, Aiden knew what Jacob had meant. Not long after the movie started, the entire cinema was filled with screams. Aiden looked at the terrifying zombies on the screen and received a system notification. Ding! Watching horror movies. Courage plus one. Ding! Activating beginner level courage. Automatically eliminating effects of horror movie. He looked at the screen again and saw that the hideous zombie now just looked rather cute. He was fine, but for Olivia, still sitting beside him, it was a different matter. Aiden did not expect Olivia, who was usually so calm and collected, to be unable to cope with horror movies. In the entire cinema, her screams were the loudest, and amidst her piercing screams, she had unconsciously grabbed his arm. As the plot continued, it became more and more terrifying until Olivia's entire body was buried in Aiden's embrace. Ding! Give a beauty a sense of security. Flirting skill, plus one. Aiden felt both pain and happiness. The flesh on his arm had been pinched black and blue by Olivia, who was so scared that she could not control herself. But at the same time, he held a beautiful woman in his arms. He had never experienced such a delicate fragrance. This mix of pain and pleasure lasted until the end of the movie. When she left the cinema, Olivia did not seem to have left the movie behind. Her expression was tense. As she looked across the street, her eyes suddenly lit up. I heard that eating ice cream can help a bad mood. I'll go and buy two. Wait here for me. Aiden was head over heels with emotions. As he waited, he looked around and noticed a clothing shop. Snow Phoenix seems familiar, Aiden mused. Wasn't that the clothing store where Mia worked part-time? He had heard Mia mention before that Snow Phoenix was also in East Street, but he hadn't expected it to be near the cinema. Previously, he had arranged to visit Mia together with Viola, but he had never had the time. Today he was free. He didn't expect Olivia to be back very quickly with the ice creams, so he walked towards the shop. 